feel like you could use a little help, so I'll just have a look in my big bag of blessings here, and oh, here's just the thing. If you'll forgive me, Master Chaos, this ambrosia is intended to be given to those whom I care about, and I can think of few recipients I'd like to have it more. Please. I shall accept this as a final offering of some of Hades. For I have given it additional consideration and decided that my previous analysis of your intentions was too narrow, too inaccurate, and I regret comparing what you have been doing to an act of theft. Respond. Don't even mention it, please, Master Chaos. All of this is new for me as well. I try never to overanalyze. My father does enough of that for all of us. I just know when I encounter the primordial creator, I am going to give thanks. For everything. I see. Then your response is quite acceptable. And since the act of giving is not an exchange, let us say that you already had my gratitude. Glad you asked. It's just my mother. She's we're reaching out to the Olympians, trying to reconnect the family. It's been a while, relatively, since she and father saw the others. But in case a gathering occurs, I did wish you to know you're cordially invited too. Cordially invited. A generous proposal, son of Hades. Though an actual gathering is to occur within my space, please understand it would be difficult for me to bring the full entirety of my presence there. However, I think I can arrange to be with you in some capacity. Thank you. Sometimes I think about what you've endured. To have been living in that loathsome squalor, cousin. I swear, you'll have your justice. Go oh, quick, I'll give you that. I sure hope this works. In the name of Hades, Olympus, this is an official message. For you and all your splendor, Lord Uncle Zeus. My, what is this you have for me, young man? It appears to be a message of some sort, bearing my thunder sigil. Though there's one for everybody on Olympus, have they as yet received their own? I must know what it says. It's from your father, who else can it be? I better check on this. Concealed in the dark recesses of the underworld is the land of Erebus wherein the dead await eternal sentencing. They long for the attention and good graces of their master, the Lord Hades. Is this where Father's goons assemble to come after me? Uh... <laughs> oh, it's the god of trash come once again to filthy up this place. You're getting real predictable, you know? Considering I beat you last we met, I'd be much more concerned with your predictability than mine. Don't want to hear it from you, Trash! Just want to see you bleed. <laughs> now you come here. Why, your royal majesty, you're back. Well, see you later. Man, oh man, Zai, someday you will be the guest of honor at the biggest feast that you have ever seen. Though I know you've got your hands full for the time, so first things first. What's the matter, Lerny? You seem quite upset. Hey, you think you're fastest time fighting through all of that? Not that I'm keeping track. I'm keeping track. I find whatever time it is to you, stranger. He returns! Well, you senseless monster, I suspect you're not so pleased with yourself now. Behold, for my glorious chariot has been restored! Oh, indeed. Nice work. Though it must have cost a fortune in gemstones and diamonds restoring an old Macedonian. I thought it was totaled after last time. The only thing which shall be totaled here, you heartless property-destroying scourge, is you yourself, Asterius! Together, let us break him! I bet that Charon has to be the life of every feast you have down there with such a personality. Am I not right about that, man? 
The prince compels the multi-headed hound to let him pass. Thanks, boy. Here we are then, Aegis. This Beowulf will be most fortunate to have your protection. There you are, bearing my brother's blasted shield. Flaunting it about so recklessly. Though what have you done to it now? Not much, really, besides awakening the aspect of a supposedly unstoppable dragon-slaying warrior called Beowulf. If it has the power to protect him against a giant lizard, I figure it may help me against you. You presently shall find I'm no mere giant lizard, boy. Though we shall see whether this Beowulf is any help to you. Alas, the wisely spoken Zagreus stumbled upon a pit of deadly spears, perhaps. Uh, no! Don't let me keep you, huh? Here, Mother. More bottled pleasant memories for you. I know you're glad you've long since left Olympus, but... I'm glad you were there, because the experience of it must have played no small part in making you who you are. You know, the last bottle you gave me brought more pleasant memories than I expected. No telling just how many more of them I've tucked away. Say, would it be all right if I share this with your father? It is yours to do with as you please. <laughs> Almost sounded like a no to me. No, I mean, yes, please share it with father if you would be willing. I imagine what few pleasant memories he has are all of you. Nonsense. There's also Cerberus. Present company excluded. Come on, son. Your father has a lot of work to do, but I'm absolutely certain that he has fond memories of you. Though I know that isn't reassuring coming from me. Everything is somehow reassuring coming from you, Mother. Mother, one thing I was wondering about was, how did you summon Charon to your surface residence, especially without, you know, being dead? Oh, why, he gave me his calling card after he graciously helped get me out of here the first time. No doubt at Nix's request, but still. Never thought I'd use it, but I still kept it, just in case. No idea what a calling card is, but okay. The Hound of Hell barely regards the Prince, having been sated for the time. What else can we do to contain you, I wonder? Good chat, Father. We all could use a little song from time to time, isn't that so? You take care. They can't be reasoned with Nyx, you know that. What use are they to us trying to manage this? They'll make things worse. They are your sisters. They are part of your life, whether you like it or not. Your relationship with them is yours to mold. I'm afraid there isn't much for me to work with. You have a lot more faith in them than I do. I have a lot more faith in you, Megara. There are many obstinate personalities with whom we regularly interact. Thus, we do what is possible. I understand. isn't only for the gods you know do so it's for anyone we really care about so here please enjoy this or just add it to the lounger's stash whatever suits you oh i but you really mean that huh but you guys a prince himself and i'm just look we both know i am just a floating monster head and a custodian i just don't understand why keep on being nice to me like this I thought you'd never even talk to me. You're so much more than what you said. I wish you could see that. If only everybody in this house had your spirit. Ah, uh, if only everybody in this house had yours, Prince Zagreus. You've been so kind to me, and I'm glad we've had a chance to get to know each other more. It's really nice sometimes, knowing somebody really cares about me here. It should be more than sometimes that you feel that way, as far as I'm concerned. I just... I've never met anybody like you before. My father always told me not to smile quite as much, but you're like me. 
What? Because I smile? <laughs> Smiling's just a little something that I like to do to deal with the day. Though... Oh. That's what you meant. I... Oh, I see. I, uh, look. This is kind of a lot. I... I had better go. Uh, I'll cherish the ambrosia, though, okay? Do so wait. Let me have it already, boyo. No holding back. <laughs>